What's going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, and today we're going to be talking about fast charging. I'm going to be comparing the different chargers on your iPhone. So we have the 5 watt power adapter, we have the iPad charger, and then we have a fast Type-C um, charger. Now, it is not included on the iPhone XS and iPhone 10 and iPhone 8, but there's rumors going around saying that the iPhone 11 will include the fast charger, but that, those are only rumors, so take it with a grain of salt. You guys like my new overhead setup this is it this is the inner tech fast type c power adapter okay so inside the packaging you have the power adapter itself you have your type c in the front there you plug there and you have your specifications right there as you guys can see also inside it was nice enough to even include a type c charger or a type c cable so add this to your collection Every company should have Type-C. So yeah, it's a pretty lengthy cable, I must say. We have the Intertech charger right here. This is the 18-watt power fast charger. And we have the iPad charger. This is a 12-watt. This comes with your iPad. Apple selling these for $20, $19. Um, and then we have the 5-watt. This is not even worth it. I think Apple is also selling these for twenty dollars too, which is a ripoff. And it comes with your iPhone. Slow. I don't even recommend you guys even buying this. And the cable is two meters, so it's like about 6.6 .6 feet. So yeah, so it's a really long cable, and you have this nice little Velcro strap. So if you want to, you know, save it for later, if you're traveling or something, you can wrap it up. And keep in mind, for the iPhone, the max wattage is 18 watts. So yeah, if you try to get a 29 watt or a 64 watt power adapter, thinking it's going to charge your phone faster, it's not. Apple is only going to allow 18 watts. So, you know, save yourself some money. Go with the 18 watt. It's just going to be worth it at the end of the day. So I'm going to charge my Nintendo Switch here. And it goes in either way. That's the beauty of Type-C. It goes in either way, no matter what. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, so console battery, 100%. You see the green. And yeah, you get in the power brick and you get in the cable. And this, this is just a steal right here. So guys, the Lightning to Type-C cable is here. And I went with this one, this one here. They claim to be MFI certified. I did test it out. It works. All right, guys. So I have two iPhone 10s here. Um, both of them are completely dead. I'm going to charge this one with the iPad um, charger. I'm going to charge this one, which is the Type-C power adapter on this iPhone. This one, once, um, once I use either or device and they die, I'm going to charge it up with this one. If you're going to buy any kind of cable from Apple or any like iPhone cable whatsoever, Get them braided. Let's start it up in three, two, one. All right, and they off. So they're gonna be charging, they completely dead. And as you can see, the one, the iPad charger booted this one up. And then we have the Type-C one came after. Oh, the Type-C one is loading up the Apple logo. So the Type C booted up the iPhone faster. We're waiting for the iPad, um, the iPad charger one. So this one I can start using it right away. So literally under a minute, I can start using my phone again. That is pretty insane. Okay, I'm on two percent on the Type C one, and finally the iPad one is starting to boot up. This is the iPad charger, and then there it goes. So like about a minute. All right, so it's on two percent right now while the iPad, or the Type-C one is on 3%. I did have it on low power mode, but um, we gotta take that off real quick. It's kinda cheating. It's gonna charge your phone a lot faster if you have it on low power mode, airplane mode. So guys, like about 10 minutes. I'm on 17% on the Type-C and 12% on the iPad version. So 17% versus 12% on the iPad. So I'm on 38% on the Type-C charger. And on the iPad charger, I'm on 28%. So 38, 28, 10% faster. Yet again, 61 Type C, 45 on iPad, and it's 37 minutes. So 49 minutes, I'm on 77% on the Type C charger. And then on the iPad charger, I'm on 59%. Over an hour, all right, an hour and seven minutes, we on exactly 84%. So it's charging slower. The iPad is actually catching up. But we're going to see which one is going to finish faster. All right, guys. So one hour and 20 minutes, the iPhone 10 on the Type-C connection is on 91%, while the iPad charger is on 80%. So it just hit 80%. 
And yeah, 92%, <laughs> you ready? You're pretty much fully charged. Let's see what the percentage is on 97 on the type C and then we have 87% on the iPad charger. So yeah, pretty much we wrapping it up on the type C charger here. All right, 99% pretty much done. And the iPad charger is on 94%. After a while, the iPad one, it, it catched up a little bit. You know what I mean? It caught up, it caught up. That is it. I mean, we're going to test out the 5 watt power adapter, which is the small one. Um, kind of took a while for me, though, to get to 100%. But it's all about it being on like 20%, getting it back to 80%. 80%, in my opinion, is like the sweet spot level. And all right, guys, the iPad charger completed. As you guys can see. Now, I'm pretty sure it took less than 2 hours and 30 minutes. I did stop it. Well, I made a lap. Alright guys, so this iPhone 10 is completely dead. It's at 0% not powering on. I have the switch here and this is the 5 watt power adapter. But we're going to see how long it's going to take to charge or even how long it's going to take to boot up. So I'm going to plug it in. And then as soon as I flip the switch, we're going to start the timer. So 3, 2, 1. Okay, so it's power. It's charging the phone. This is going to take forever. All right, guys, so three minutes later, the phone is booted up. All right, so it's on 2%. Let the battery charging begin. All right, so eight minutes. It's on 5% currently, 5%. So 20 minutes later, it's only on 12%. This thing is going painfully slow. 32 minutes, 20%, finally. <laughs> All right, so 41 minutes, only on 25%. Over an hour. The phone is on 42%. In one hour and 44 minutes, the phone is only on 65%. So at this point in time, the Type C, you, you, you're pretty much done. Two hours later, two hours and 13 minutes, 82%. All right, guys, so three hours and 14 minutes later, this thing is finally on 100%. So we can stop the timer. The clear winner, obviously, is the Type C power adapter. I highly recommend the Intertech um, Type C power adapter. This thing is worth every penny. Do not buy this. Upgrade immediately. If you have an iPad charger, just use this. If not, just save up your money and get the Type C. This thing is a powerhouse. And if you put it on airplane mode and, and low power mode, it's even going to charge your phone even faster. So I highly recommend it. You're getting a great deal. You're getting even a Type C cable, like I mentioned. And before I even end out this video, I just want to show you guys my new Apple Watch band. Um, I'm going to throw a link in the description. This thing just looks so fancy. It looks good. All right, guys. So that pretty much concludes today's video. If you guys did enjoy, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Comment down below. How are you charging your devices? Um, are you plugging it in? Are you using wireless charging? If you're plugging it in, which uh, power adapter you're using? Type-C to Lightning or Type-C to Type-C? All right, guys. Until next time, follow me on Twitter at Simply Pops. Peace.